Peace, family. Share this to a few groups and then get started. <clears throat> Today's video is going to be speaking on the art of meditation. Just give me a moment so I can share it to a few people, gain a few more people in here. How's everyone doing? But once again, today's video <clears throat> is about the art of meditation. Kind of like how to apply it to self. How to become more aware of what and who we are in connection to meditation. Identifying that the word meta or meta would mean to go beyond. And in the most simplistic terms, this is what we do in meditation. We go beyond self. <clears throat> All right, a few more groups. So many groups. All right, good to go. Hope everyone's doing well once again. This video will, will be breaking down in a very concise way what meditation is, our connection to meditation, and maybe some, man, my phone is going off, and some applications that we can apply to this thing we call meditation. Now, what this really is, is meta-station, okay, so, uh, you would kind of look at a station as something that you would uh, have as a hub of information. And when you go beyond the hub of information, it'll kind of be like your internet, kind of be like your Wi-Fi, it'll kind of be like telekinesis to go beyond the station and travel your channels. <clears throat> So in order for us to be meta or meta, we first have to heal, med oneself, mead oneself, form oneself, control oneself, become aware of oneself. Now, as you just watched this, I did something while I crossed my hands onto my chest. And this is a form of meta. This is a form of self-awareness. This is a form of being present. In your Egyptian cultures, they have <clears throat> different pharaohs and different deities and beings that will cross their arms over their chest. This is so you allow all energy to reside within the being of self. I often travel, move, think transition, transform, shift, phase so quickly that it becomes painful on self. Not only does it become painful on self, it also is hard for me to stay focused on self. So I cross my arms to stay focused on self, to contain self, to house self. Those that have issues remembering their dreams fall asleep like this. Lay in a comfortable position and cross your arms. Cross your arms as you control your breath, which is something I'm going to speak on in a second if you're patient and watch the video. If not, they're shared, and then eventually they'll be uploaded on my YouTube. Please subscribe and like my YouTube. It's the same uh, name as my Facebook name, Quentin, Q-U-E-N-T-I-N, middle name Q-C-U-E, Reeves, R-E-A-V-E-S. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, I'm going to have different raffles. On this YouTube channel, I'm going to have different giveaways. On this YouTube channel, I'm going to transition 
many more opportunities that will not be provided on Facebook. Back to this. So if you're trying to uh, compose oneself, contain oneself, and prevent oneself from projecting out of one's body, because I need you to understand that you're always being triggered to come out. You're always being triggered to open doors. You're always being triggered to open oneself to a level of unawareness within self and outside of self. Do you make yourself hungry or is it a trigger? Is it when someone's cooking something around you that that creates that hunger? So then you're being pulled outside of you to a smell. Pheromones is a smell. This has to do with you being pulled out of oneself. I might have to hold myself this way for a little bit of this video because it's very powerful what it is. You guys are pulling me as I speak or pulling me out of myself into your device, into your system, into your frame. And I'm composing self by housing self. Are you understanding this? I have self within, but I'm also self. Housing self within self. So the words that I used for this is art of meditation, signifying that art, the word art, the artistry, the design is coming from the meditation. So now you're starting to understand the art is in connection to kind of what you bring out of the meditation because it is of something. This is why we use these words very concise. I want you now to understand that you are the art of going beyond the station. <clears throat> you are the art of going beyond the box. You are the art that goes beyond the cube. I'm not going to be able to do the video today explaining the deepness of what I'm explaining. But when I said that I had a regression and I pulled out a demon that called itself Mattel, like Mattel, Barbie, or Metal, why would demons and metal be associated? How or why would robotics be associated with demons, with the dead? That's another video. Like and subscribe. You might be able to uh, see those type of videos coming in the future. It also has to do with uh, the world that we come from. But this is not what this video is about. So, to understand the uh, art of meditation, you start using things that are kind of meta beyond self, but still are a version of self. Let's get our let's get our tools. So, in meditation, you form art. This would be the art of your meditation. This was the product of someone going within their mental state, calming and relaxing, and coming out with a design. This is the art of meditation. It's a very deep thing. So this is a prop. This is an item that is used to trigger one's meditative state. These come around, it transitions your state. Puts you into a different receptive, a different transmission, a different frequency. Same for this. Same for this. These are all tools or art pieces, if this is the word you want to use, of your meditation. These are expressions of your station. This is your station developing what you would call chakras or what you would call seven bodies. And these seven bodies are connected to this physical experience that you're having now. Let's not get lost. You want to say that you are a body. Yeah, you are actually eight physical bodies. 
but you're having a physical experience and all of these bodies are giving it to you. The body of passion, the body of instinct, the body of activity, the body of empathy, the body of speech or expression, the body of vision, the body of memories. This is your station. And you have access to this station by being meta, by going beyond, by putting yourself in states that allow you to go beyond the illusion. There's another system you guys use. Fire. have to feel the beauty of you through the objects that replicate you, that reflect you, that express you. They sing to you. They speak to you. They give you flame. They give you light. They give you warmth. Yet, we have put ourselves in a position of fear. We have positioned ourselves so scared of self within self that we're not even willing to ignite or acknowledge one's flame. We rather stay in darkness. art of meditation you are what is being simulated in this simulation if you do not understand how important your role is when you wake up out of that bed then go back to sleep and learn the sounds of you Now, for those of you that want to learn a more concise, specific, individual exercise, application, or practice to develop one's inner state, I develop those. I create those. They're $10 right now. Anyone who wants to find one specifically gauged or developed for them specifically, it takes me about 20, 25 minutes to make. So my time does have value. Plus, we also most definitely honor on my system, give and receive. Those that give things must also be able to receive things. And this is how we stay balanced in life. If not, one will always just stay in one polarity. And this is darkness. And of course, it's cool in this darkness, but you can't see this light. You can't see this vision. If we remain in darkness, I will provide my donation link at the end of this video. I will also provide my YouTube channel. I would be honored if anyone would be willing to donate, 
like and subscribe to my channel, my page. Here's a little, uh, here's a little uh, taste or tidbit of uh, some things that I can offer. The reason why we have such a difficulty meditating is because both sides of your brain is pulling on you. One side of your brain is pulling on the logical aspect and it is being triggered through logic, bills, dates, time, pain. And then you have another side of you that is uh, a little more compassionate. It's a little more creative. It's a little more expressive. And this is what we're all tapping into literally as we speak. The creative self. And the creative self is creative. Do you not get that? Therefore, it can form itself into shadows. It can form itself into dead people. It's through your memories. It can form itself as aliens, projections. It's creative. Do you not get this? Why do we fall so short every time? Science tells you you have a part of your brain that's extremely creative. That's like fucking gold. It like it, it houses everything creative on your body, on your essence, on your plane. But then don't assume that's where it comes from. Here's my point. They're both battling each other. And the only way that you can subdue the left hemisphere or right hemisphere is through breath. Breathing is the only thing that takes away the thought or the logic and the creativeness. You can't go anywhere. You can't go with that breath. You can't travel with that breath. You can't unite or connect with that breath. If you're just breathing, you're not going with it. So one of the deep things about meditation is your breath. But it isn't about just breathing. It's about acknowledging that your brain cannot work efficiently if you just focus on your breath. Let's not use the word efficiently. Your brain can't work against you or project things that aren't needed at the moment. Your brain can't take a break. That's the word we use. Your brain cannot take a break if you don't give it time to breathe. That's it. Your brain cannot take a break if you do not give it time to breathe. I hope you guys are able to get that last message. You know, I saw that it said it was skipping. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't uh, control these systems or these servers. I definitely pay my Wi-Fi bill if that's the question. So uh, please like, subscribe. Uh, you guys have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm about to currently get a regression done. Uh, I also offer regressions for people who are interested. Regressions is a self-healing hypnosis that is done over the phone. Uh, I call you up. I put you in a, a relaxed state, a meditative state that allows you to access certain emotions, feelings, and expressions that are kind of hidden within self. I don't want to bring itself to surface and to light unless you kind of make it, unless you kind of force these things to come forward, kind of like a pimple, you know, or you can heal it. But you guys don't really know how to heal the eruptions of self. So on that note, I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like I said, I'll provide the donation link in the YouTube channel. Appreciate it.